thanks to MLB The Show and SDS along with PlayStation for allowing me early access to the game. It allowed me to get these videos out to you guys pretty quickly. So without them, we wouldn't have these videos on drop day. So thanks to them. Once again, let's hop into today's video. So today, MLB The Show has finally arrived and man, am I excited about it. Ooh, I hope you're excited too. So today, I'm gonna be breaking down my five favorite teams to do a franchise in. Obviously, in the end, it really just goes down to whoever you want to do. But these are some of my favorites, just in case you guys are lacking a little bit of... If you're just a little unsure about who to do, you need a little bit of inspiration. Let me break down my five favorite teams and, of course, some honorable mentions. There'll be three honorable mentions where I'll just quickly talk about them. But I hope you enjoy it. If you do, the easiest way to support is show me... Or the easiest way to show me support is by hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Love to have you stick around. And of course, in the comment section, I want to know who you're going to be doing a franchise on this year. And of course, drop your video ideas. I'm always looking for video ideas. Let me know, especially with the new release of the game. I know you guys got some bangers up here. Let me know what you got down below. If you haven't followed my Twitter, go ahead and follow it. Link is down in the description below. That's the best way to know when a video is going live. On top of that, I like kind of give you hints about what the video is. Also, just me talk about baseball or whatever else is going on, go follow my Twitter. And my final plug for today is if you're looking for some DD content, double, no, 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 not double D. If you're looking for some Diamond Dynasty content from me, go check out my second channel. I'm going to be doing a No Money Spent series over there. So go check it out. It'll be down in the description. So let me give you my honorable mentions. We'll start with my first one, which I'm double checking because I'm already forgetting the teams that I had is the Detroit Tigers. We'll break down the roster really quick. I think the Detroit Tigers have some decent pickups. You know, Scope, Ramos, they had Robbie Grossman. Like, they've got some good pieces. Renato Nunez, players you could look to trade. There's a couple different ways you could approach this team. You could go with a full rebuild. You could go with a retool with the players that are already there. You could let the farm system develop and just run with it that way. I think the big thing with this team is they need a new stadium. Their stadium's kind of whack. You could use the stadium creator there. And then I don't necessarily hate their uniforms, but I do think they're a little plain. So if you wanted to get a little bit of some customization in there, you definitely could. Like, I like these ones right here. I think these ones are pretty cool. But outside of that, I think I think the, the uniforms are pretty plain, kind of boring. So if you really wanted to, you could go custom, customize them, create a new team, rebrand them. But overall, I think the Tigers lineup is okay. I think it's one of those teams that everyone knows is kind of bad. There's a lot of different ways you could go with the team. So yeah, there's, there's an honorable mention. My next one, Orioles. We all know they're bad. I think they've got some good pieces. Santander, Mancini, John Means, kind of the main ones. You've got Mountcastle to build up on as well. Then you've got Rushman and Heston Kierstead. Yeah, I almost said Keston Kierstead. Is it? I, I always get it mixed up. You know who I'm talking about, the outfielder that they drafted this year. Um, the team, again, I think their uniforms, they have some of the better uniforms. I, I'll take that back. I think they've got good uniforms. We'll talk. Let me show you them. Their uniforms, I think I think the black ones look great. The orange ones look good. I think they've got some okay uniforms. Again, if you really wanted to, you could go full rebrand. I need Trey Mancini to drop the gloves so you can actually see them. But I do think they've got some good uniforms. They're not bad. I think the stadium, again, if you wanted to go to the creator, it could use a little bit of tweaking. But overall, with the Orioles, you're looking for more of just a full kind of rebuild, building up what you have through the farm system. But again, you could just build with some of the pieces that are there, like Mount Castle, Mancini, uh, Santander, and also Means. Again, different ways to approach this team, but just another honorable mention. And this one is my final one. I really like the Kansas City Royals. I really do. You got Witt, Mondesi, Salvi. They made some pickups this offseason with Carlos Santana, Mike Miner, Ben Attendee. You've got Brady Singer. You've got some good pitchers coming up through the system. You got Bobby Witt Jr. You got Soler. This team is actually not bad. I definitely think this is not necessarily a rebuild, but more of a retool with the pieces that are already on the squad. You've got Dozier as well. I like this team. Michael Taylor is looking like MVP to start the season. I like this team a lot. I think there's a lot of like cool ways you could build this team up. I think you let the youngsters come up. I think you keep some of the veterans. You could really do whatever you want with it. I think the stadium is beautiful. I think Kaufman is amazing. One of the best stadiums in baseball. And their uniforms aren't bad either. I mean, again, I like the color combos of their, their uniforms, the light blue, the baby blue, like the royal blue, whatever, the black ones. They, they have great unis. So again, I, I like this team a lot. I think there's a lot of great things about it. I mean, again, if you really wanted to, you could rebrand it and stadium creator it up. But I think the roster's in a good place. I like this team a lot as an honorable mention. 
Now let's get into some of like the main favorites, the Rockies. Man, they traded away Arenado for a bag of potato chips. But man, you still got Story. You still got Blackman. You got Marquez. CJ Crone was a good addition. You look at some of the other pieces that are in the team. You got Brendan Rodgers for some youth. But outside of that, I'm not really blown away with their farm system. I think you could really do some damage with like drafting in some new players, really building up the team. They do have Zach Veen as a youngster, but I mean, this team needs a lot of work. What do you do with it? Do you go full rebuild? You just trade away everything, fire sale, get, let Story walk in free agency? Do you trade him? Do you try to get rid of Charlie Blackman's contract? Herman Marquez, do you keep him or get rid of him? There's a lot of different things you could do with this team. Do you try to keep them and build with the players that you have? I think the stadium core is beautiful, but this team, there's so many different ways you could go with it. Like, like I said, keep the players, try to build around them, completely blow it up and just start from scratch. You know, really it's just up to your imagination where you want to go with it and their uniforms. I think the black with the purple really cool. I mean, the black with the purple is really cool. The purple ones, oof, the cutoff one, I like them. I think the stadium and the unis don't need any, any tweaking unless you wanted to get a little bit crazier with the, the combination of the black and the purple. But again, I like the team. I think there's a lot to do with the team. I think there's a lot of different approaches that you can do with this Rocky squad. So yeah, Rockies, my number five. My number four is going to be the Pirates, the worst team in baseball, but they're actually doing pretty well in real life. Um, you've got some good young players, Key Brian Hayes. Um, I think I heard it was Key Brian rather than Cabrian. I think it was Key Brian. Um, you've got Nick Gonzalez, O'Neal Cruz. You got Brian Reynolds. You've got you got a decent farm system behind you. I think there there's definitely some pieces that are on the MLB squad right now that you could use. I, I like the team. I also like their uniforms. I like the stadium. I think the stadium is great. And that's kind of why I'm mentioning this team because we already know it's really bad. I think there's already that farm system to build up as well. And man, this would be a team that I'd consider doing, but I kind of want to do a relocation franchise. So like, I don't want to move them from that beautiful stadium and their uniforms are already great as is. I mean, I think they're great. The gold with the black. I mean, they've, they've got some really good unis in the game. I don't want to change them. I mean, look at those. They're ugly, but they're great at the same time. I like the Pirates unis. So, again, I wouldn't change it up. I think with the squad that's already there, you, you got a great squad to build on. I like the unis. I like the stadium. It's just beautiful. I think this is a good squad to rock with. I think it's a lot of fun. Plus, it's already one of the worst ranked teams in the game. So, you definitely have a challenge in itself and their budget isn't that big so you have to worry about that as well so there's a little bit of a challenge there's that just it's a good squad definitely check them out pirates this was a squad that man i really came close to doing for a franchise because i'm not a huge fan of their their stadium but i really like their uniforms but i did a franchise with them last year so i felt like i probably shouldn't do them and uh when i look at the roster marco gonzalez james paxton who i know just got injured in real life Oh, big blow. You got Ken Giles coming back from injury. But then you've got Dylan Moore, Kyle Lewis, Julio Rodriguez, Kalanick, Taylor Trammell. Or is it Trammell? I think it's Trammell. Um, you've got a great farm system with the pitchers, the young guys in the outfield. You could pick up a couple players through the draft as well. I think you've got some good veterans in the squad, some also good MLB pieces already. I think the stadium, definitely maybe get in the stadium creator, change it up a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of T-Mobile Park, I think it's called, but I really like their unis. I mean, you look at them, the blue, the teal, you got the throwbacks with the cream. I mean, these ones, I, they're great. I love the Mariners unis. Like I said, the stadium, eh, but I think the roster is set up for success. You just gotta be a little patient with it, but at the same time, you could always try to compete immediately with what you have you could use a little bit of pitching help you could use a little bit of hitters but i mean the team looks great i think the team's set up for the future i really like it i think it's one of those teams you just be patient with it you let those players develop you bring in your own group of young draft picks i think it'd be a lot of fun for a long-term save i like the mariners like i said this is probably my top pick to go with if i didn't do them last year this is my number two and you're probably thinking what the blue jays are good why would you pick them for a team to do a franchise with because I am a sucker for a good young core to build around. I love a team where you can get a couple of guys where you're like, these are the guys I want to build around. You got Vlad, Bichette, you've got Austin Martin, you got Kevin Biggio, 
you've got the outfielders of Springer, you've got Semyon in the mix, you've got Teoscar. I mean, this team has it all, but I mean, that young core of like Biggio, Bichette, Vlad, you've got Austin Martin as well. Like, I like that 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 aspect where it's like these are the guys i want this team to just solely be built around you can bring in some new young guys you've got the pitchers of manoa and pearson you've got pardino you've got uh simeon woods richardson is that right i think that's his name uh yes simeon woods richardson the team is stacked you've got yates who did go down with injury but i mean you got ryu i think the team you could use a little bit of pitching help you sprinkle in a couple new bats here and there um on top of that you'd have to worry about how you want to pay all those new young players that are going to start to come up through the system and also as those contracts start to come towards free agency how do you pay everybody it's a good challenge it's a really good team the stadium i think is unique the rogers center and then the unis beautiful I mean, how do you hate on the Blue Jays unis? The blue, the baby blue, the red, the bird. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think the Jays, if they weren't so good, I would definitely do a franchise on them. But I want a little bit more of a challenge. I think it's a really good franchise, especially one if you're, you don't necessarily want to go with a really bad team, but a team that's kind of on the verge of competing. I think this is a really good selection for you. And it, I, man, I like the Blue Jays a lot. And by the way, you guys watch the videos whenever I do a Blue Jays rebuild, I think you do too. And my final team for our franchise, the Cleveland Indians, who are no longer going to be the Indians in the future. So you have basically whatever you want to make the team you can relocate them you can call them the cleveland spiders the cleveland this the cleveland that whatever it is you can go with whatever you want kind of go with that whole storyline of who is the new cleveland team is it going to be the cleveland baseball team you have that storyline to run with you've got some good players bieber jose ramirez eddie rosario potentially james karen you've got some pieces to build around but then also it seems like a team that's kind of like in a weird spot where like are we competing are we rebuilding are we retooling they don't really spend money it's just a weird a weird situation with the squad so you come in here you take over the team and you decide let's fully rebuild let's clear house let's get some new people in let's build around shane bieber and jose ramirez whatever it is you really can just run with it and run with that whole new team of the cleveland whatever you decide it is you could also don't get me wrong Cleveland Stadium's all right, but you could also just go crazy with the, the stadium creator and the uniforms. They're okay. I don't hate the Cleveland Indians uniforms, but again, if you're going with the, the storyline of the Cleveland baseball team or whatever it is, you're going full customization mode. You might as well create some new unis. So there's a lot to do with this team. I really like the storyline behind it. That's why I went with it for number one. Again, guys, run with whatever you want. You could, hey, you don't like the Yankees? Get rid of the Yankees. Get rid of them. Call them the, I don't know, the Harlem Shake. I, I, I don't know. Whatever, whatever you want to run with. So, whatever. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Franchise is there for you to go crazy with it. Create whatever storyline you want. Create whatever you want. It is your, it's your domain. Use your imagination. Go crazy with it. Have some fun with it. That's the whole point of franchise. But I just wanted to throw out some ideas for you, just in case you were a little stuck on what team you wanted to go with, or if you needed some inspiration. There you go. Thought I could help you out. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Of course, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Peace.